Hey, Vsauce, Moultrie here, the creator of Doll Notes V2.0, the Vsauce can that keeps coming back. Have you seen Michael Stevens' video yet about the rollback can? A can that when you roll it, it automatically returns back to you. The video is pretty cool. You should totally check it out if you haven't already. But the way that it works is pretty simple. It's just physics. And it's probably easier if I just show you. Here. Don't worry, Michael. I'll give it right back when I'm done. Now, the rollback can is so cool because whenever you roll it, it automatically returns back to you. And when you open it up, you can see it's just a rubber band with a weight attached to it. And when you push it away, the weight attached to the rubber band causes the rubber band to twist, converting energy from kinetic to potential back to kinetic, which is the can rolling back to you. Another way that we can make a rollback can is by over-engineering the heck out of it. That's what this guy is. Now it acts just like the normal rollback can, where you push it away, and after a little bit, it, ah! It's not supposed to work like that. That's not right. Let's um, open it up and see what's going on. And while I've got to open to fix it, I might as well show you how it works. So pull off the counterweight, and then you can pull the motor out. And now, you've got the motor, microcontroller, a battery, and a speaker. And basically, the microcontroller has an accelerometer built into it so that whenever it detects that it is rolled, it lets it go so far, and then it sends voltage to the motor, which moves the counterweight, which rolls it back into position, and it plays music, the Vsauce music, while it does that. And then to fix it, uh, I think we're going to need a little more weight. I think that'll fix it. And I think I have just a thing for that. I think that's going to be just enough fresh weight to give us what we need. Now when we turn on a rollback can and roll it, it should come back to us. And this works because of the whole equal and opposite reaction thing that the guy Isaac talks about. And the motor applies a torque to the counterweight and also an equal and opposite torque to the can. And since the can is free to move, it does. Boom! Best rollback can ever. Take that, Michael. Just kidding, this thing's actually like the worst rollback can ever. Um, for one, it's super expensive. All the parts on it cost like 40 bucks as opposed to Michael's maybe costing like a dollar. The other thing is this took a lot of engineering in order for it to work. Like the motor, well, it's only capable of putting out so much torque. In the can, it requires a certain amount of torque to rotate. And for the motor to rotate the can, it basically has to have more torque than the can needs to rotate. Now to determine the torque required to rotate the can, well, that gets pretty complicated because you gotta figure out this thing called moment of inertia, which seems scary, but basically it says the diameter of the can, the weight, and the balance are what really matters. So even if you don't do the math, Knowing what the math says can be super helpful. And all these considerations are things you gotta think about whenever you're engineering things. The other thing that I didn't tell you about is it only works in one direction. So if we turn it on, I don't know which way it is, and we roll it that way, it'll just take off. It only works when you rotate it this way. And the reason I didn't make it go both ways is because you have to add a component called an H-bridge, which increases the weight and ultimately just throws off our moment of inertia. Uh, I tried it, but it made everything too heavy for this little motor. So I just settled with this design, which you know still is relatively complicated, but it still isn't as good as Michael's design. So I totally think you should check out Michael's video. Again, it's linked in the description below. It's super awesome. All of his videos are awesome. And the really cool thing about it is you can actually do it yourself. Because this stuff is just stuff you have lying around the house. It's like a rubber band and then, you know, a little can like this. And then whatever kind of weight, he uses pennies. Anyway, I think that's it. Other than the fact that I don't wear glasses, I was just trying to look like Michael. Thanks so much for watching. You have a great day. See ya.